If you've been looking for a great bay liner 2655 or 265, look no further because here at South Mountain Yachts we have this 2002 2655 bay liner starting off here at the bow. We see we have our stainless steel windlass, stainless steel forward facing horn, anchor, bungee, indentation for a bow cushion to lay out on, and wire fender baskets. Coming down along the starboard side, we can see just how nice and clean that Isinglass is. Good for another couple years. There's also a full cover to protect her. Coming aft, we see at the molded in transom, we have a three step boarding ladder, nice clean Bravo 3 outdrive, dual scoop bait tank, and three clamp on rod holders. As we enter the vessel, we see we have our fold away transom seat, cocktail table, and our fore and aft facing companion seat. This chaise here is a ladies like it feature because they can sit facing in either direction. The back here slides, moves forward and back to give us forward and aft seating for our guests. Engine access is relatively easy. Note the collapsed transom seat and in this case we do not even have to remove the table. Here we have a Merc Cruiser 5.7 liter engine, 250 horsepower, nice orderly engine space. Our water tank is off to the port side along with a stainless steel hot water heater. The boat's equipped with two batteries. Looks like we recently had a new thermostat and hoses. Risers and manifolds are clean and our holding tanks off to this side. There's a lot of space in here so everything is easily accessible so you can care for your bow. Circling to the helm we see we have our captain's seat right here and then at the helm we have our tilt steering an hour meter showing about 300 and 50 hours. We also have our windlass control, remote control for the Kenwood stereo, and a GPS map 188C sounder. There's also the depth finder, standard gauge package, 2 inch compass. Access to the bow is up these molded in steps. One, to and out to the foredeck. If you're driving the boat, this is your view right from here. We enter the cabin through this bifold door and down a few steps. Once inside the cabin, off to the left, we see we have our power panel an upgraded Kenwood stereo, our galley with a single burner alcohol electric stove right there. Notice how nice and clean it is. Lower cabinet storage, stainless steel sink, and our microwave there. Forward we have this large berthing area that seat back comes out, this table drops down and becomes a sleeping area. We call it the playpen for at least two adults 
and lots of kids. This vessel also has a flat screen TV. Notice Bayliner slash windows for light into the cabin. Circling around, we see under these seats there's storage and we have a brand new Norcol refrigerator. Moving aft, we've got our head fully lined fiberglass with the marine toilet and pull out RV style shower. Bayliner makes excellent use of the space under this top step. We have our trash container and under here we have more storage in this right here. Moving aft, we've got a little hanging locker right here and then our double wide mid cabin there with light and it has its own window for more light and more air. This vessel is well cared for, neat and clean, lots of maintenance, shows pride of ownership, viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.